Hello friends, good day to all of you and welcome back to my channel. So today's recipe is for the upcoming Indian Independence Day. We are going to make tricolored puris. So whether you make a fancy dish or a simple one, you can still enjoy with your friends. The patriotic feeling is alive when you see all this tricolored menu on the table. So let's proceed to make these puris. Here we have taken wheat flour 2 cups or take as needed all purpose flour 1 cup 2 is to 1 ratio you should take carrot puree as needed and spinach puree also blanch the spinach and blend it 1 tablespoon oil for moin salt as needed we will be mixing all these and kneading the dough oil for frying the puris now mix both the flours in a bowl I have taken ratio of 2 is to 1 you could take only wheat flour also if you wish to mix them very well add the salt as required and one tablespoon of oil mix all these ingredients very nicely once this is done we are going to knead the dough now divide the flour into equal three portions because we are going to use one for white puris orange puris and green puris take the first portion and knead it using the spinach puree here we have not used any artificial colors the puree itself gives such a lovely color to the dough while blanching the spinach add a pinch of baking powder this is the tip to retain the green color It's so much fun to make all these tricolored dishes on Independence Day. Now the green dough is done. Set it aside in a plate. Take the second portion and knead it just with plain water. This is for the white colored puris. When we were living abroad, this is what we used to do on Indian Independence Day. We would have a potluck. Everyone would bring one dish of tricolored. Now the white one is also done. Next, we will need the remaining flour with the carrot puree. If you want a nice bright color, you can even add a little bit of Kashmiri chili powder while you are blending the carrots. I haven't added it though. Now this is also nearly done. Knead it to a nice smooth texture. Here we go, all the three colored doughs are ready. Set them aside for a while and before frying you take out small portion, lemon size portion and make balls, flatten them and roll them out into puris. I prefer smaller puris, you can roll any size you like. These puris can also be relished with just papad and curd, pickle etc. Or you can even serve with some curry on the side. Do check out my other recipes also tricolored recipes. I have posted some earlier too. Yeah, the puris are ready to be fried. Heat the oil. Check by dropping a little portion of the dough into it. Once it is hot, drop in puris one by one and fry them. 
pour the oil with the ladle on top of the puri to make it nice and fluffy. The puri puffs up when you do this. You can use your creative ideas and make lot of dishes right from the starters to the dessert. It is so much fun on Independence Day after the flag hoisting ceremony. You come back home and enjoy with your friends. Have a table full of beautiful tri-colored menu. So I'm sure you're going to give some new dishes a try this year and share them with me also if you make something nice and new. Now our puris are also done. We can serve them immediately. Nothing like a hot and puffed up puri. Here our cute and colorful puris are ready. I have made colorful curries as well to pair with the puris. Perfect. Looks so inviting, isn't it? Lovely. Now let's enjoy the meal. Do go through the playlist of the Independence Day menu recipes. I am sharing the link in the description box and i button. If you are a new visitor to the channel, do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications about the new uploads. Here are some videos from the archives. Do check them out. We'll soon be back with another new recipe. Bye. Until then, have a nice day.